I've been up all night working on this video and honestly, this is crazy. Let me show you. Where am I? This is me! Yes, that's me. Hello guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Noor and this is Noor Art channel. Alright guys, we're entering a new era of filmmaking and video production. I've made this short movie in a couple of hours, knowing nothing about direction and filmmaking, only using two AI tools, and this is only me playing around. So the new Kling model 2.6 is here and let me tell you, this is one of the most powerful AI video models I have ever tried. Why? Because Kling 2.6 can now generate audio natively inside the AI model itself and you can give it all the details you want whether the music the sound effects the dialogues between the characters the emotional tone of the characters whether it's happy sad mad excited or anything else I have a secret I have a secret I have a too big secret that I never told you Jesse it's not inside the box you'll hear it long before you see it it's bigger than you think it also has better physics and motion interpretation, it supports multi-object scenes, and it has higher prompt precision. So let's start testing the new model into different cases, and then I will show you how I created the short film that I made into the intro. To access it, head over to Hexfield, which is currently offering a strong discount and even unlimited access to both Nano Banana Pro and Kling 2.6, with 70% off. So head over to Hexfield link from the description and go to video and Kling 2.6, you will find it here. So let's give it a quick prompt to test its capabilities. And for this, I'm going to use this image as a reference. I'm and I'm thinking of an FPV drone camera shot, high dynamic motion close to the ground. This will really test the capabilities of the motion and the physics of moving the camera. So here is the prompt. High speed FPV drone shot, low angle camera. The camera flies centimeters above the ground, hitting some dust particles and rushing towards the distant alien structures, which are the buildings into the background, passing the man behind, aggressive movement and high motion and dynamic sound effect. You can specify the sounds that you want inside, but here I will just write high motion and dynamic sound effects. Let's upload the reference image from here. And now you can choose if you want audio or not. So let's just turn on the audio. The duration, you have the option to choose from five seconds or 10 seconds. 
and the aspect ratio will just leave it auto to get it from the image itself as you can see right now it consumes only 20 credits which is one of the cheapest platforms to use cling 2.6 and let's hit generate and let's see the results That's really nice. You can be specific on whatever you want. And let me show you side by side a comparison between Clang 2.6 and Clang 2.5. This is a scene I generated using Clang 2.5 previously in previous episode. And the motion, the physics was good, but not as accurate and as dynamic as Kling 2.6 as you can see right now. Not to mention that Kling 2.6 has better sound effects and music in the background. So let me show you some use cases for trying Kling 2.6 in different scenarios. So we will start by testing the sound and the sound quality. Here we're having a can smashed with a man's hand and The sound effects is really nice. The physics of the can being smashed is also accurate. Let's see another one. This one is good, but not as great, you know? I'm feeling like he's writing with a pen, not a pencil. Listen to the sound. And let's test the music and the emotional tone into the music. This is this is a sci-fi scene, so it should have specific moody, dramatic uh, music and sound effects. Let's listen to this one. really accurate in terms of synchronizing the sound effects the music with the corresponding motion so what about the dialogues let's listen to this dialogue for mr these Beast. are the these are the bomb actually jimmy it's just basic ingredients feastables you are an artist they are better than hershey's yeah, the dialogue and the emotions in the video is cool and it's accurate. Maybe there are some exaggeration in some parts, but overall, I really like how consistent the sound is. Here's another test for the lip sync. Our traditions define who we are. We have lived here for centuries, honoring the ways of our ancestors. The body language is good, the lip sync is great, and overall quality is really amazing. And let's have a look in some high motion scenes, like this character running into the street, the camera is tracking his motion, and here is another example of, of the POV camera shot, which Kling is really nailing it. Let's look at some use cases into motion physics. So let's see the core motion. There is no artifacts. The motion is smooth. The interaction with the road is really accurate. Here is another example of water physics, which is really interacting accurately with the buildings. Okay, that's it. Let me show you how I created the movie that was shown into the intro. I firstly started with an inspiration, the idea inspired with interstellar movie multiverse theory with a blood twist in the end. And first of all, I generated all these bunch of images. But firstly, I started with one image, which is this image. Using, of course, Nano Banana Pro, I asked it to remove this orangey color and make the mood, the color mode, into more deep, moody, dark color. So it turned it into this image, which I really like. The main shot, this is called the hero shot, upon which you will build the whole movie. So you should nail this main master shot.
So then I started to build the whole story one by one, generating like some close-ups, some wide angle shots, some zoom, very close shots. This is just by my intuition to emphasize specific feelings into the scene. And after generating the images into like a sequence, I started putting these images into Clang 2.6, giving it a prompt of the motion and started to tweak some parts uh, again with Nano Banana if I don't like them. And then getting everything together into any video editing software for here, I used Premiere Pro. You need to have some common sense, you know, because we don't want to have like very tough uh, cuts into the editing. And if you find the transition between two shots is very sharp, you can simply take the last frame from here, export it, and go to the next frame and export it as well. And then get back to a hex field, change this Kling model to Kling 2.5, which is giving you the start frame and end frame. And from here, you can put the start frame, the end frame, and you can create like seamless transition, getting it together again with uh, Adobe Premiere. Maybe you make some J cuts or put some effects. And yeah, this was basically the whole workflow, just your imagination and Nano Banana Pro, Kling 2.5, Kling 2.6. That's it, let me know guys what do you think about this Kling 2.6 model in the comments. I know there is a new model every 24 hour, but it's the same concept. It's just the tools are getting better. I'm really excited to test it out with different workflows, creating some really detailed high quality movies or spec ads. The possibilities are endless. That's it guys. See you soon in next tutorials. Peace.